Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. All right. But I'm not gonna. I don't want to stop and like. Well, guys, good morning. It is 3:15 a.m. Uh, this is about to be the longest drive to the boat ramp ever. But we are headed down south into probably one of the most epic fisheries in uh, in the state of Florida. I'm joined by my buddy Nick here. Still sleepy. Still sleepy. But uh, yeah, we're heading out. We're loaded. We got the Ginu right behind us, and we have a three and a half hour drive ahead of us. But we are headed down to the Florida Everglades, and I couldn't be more excited. So stick with me, stay tuned, and we're gonna head down there, and we're gonna hopefully get into some epic fishing for the next couple days. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started. We got a long way to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not eating that. <laughs> that is disgusting. I'm taking a cliff bar. Well guys, we just stopped at a racetrack in... Oh, uh, money that was. Where are we right now? Okeechobee. Okeechobee. And uh, we just stopped to check on the trailer, grab some food, go to the bathroom. Nick got a horrendous uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. And so did I, honestly. I, I have one too. It's probably going to be terrible. You're not going to eat yours? I threw mine away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bad. Um, Ginu looks good. We are about halfway there, and uh, we're gonna hop back on the road here. But we uh, a bit tired. It's 4:50 a.m., but hopefully soon sun will come up, and uh, we'll be ready to go catch some fish. And just like that, in a few hours, we are in Chukaluski. This is a branch of the Everglades, or a part of the Everglades. And uh, it's really amazing how just a few hours you can drive and you're in a completely different uh, fishery or ecosystem. It's, it's really nice when we're pulling in here, getting into kind of uh, this Everglades area. The trees were taller, it was more tropical. It just felt a lot, felt a lot different and felt a lot better. Uh, better than, you know, the big houses and um, residential type of type of fishery that I'm normally in it just felt good um, a lot of times when I'm editing my videos I can't stand the sound of lawnmowers running and dogs barking and uh, people houses being built and all sorts of things like that and I'm really excited to get on out here and uh, experience a different type of fishery where there's just nothing it's just mangroves it's it's snook it's redfish it's trout it's grouper it's all sorts of species. There's sawfish out here. It's just a really awesome area. And I can't be more excited. Nick, you ready? Let's go. I'm ready. We're rigged up. We got uh, right about five rods with us. We got pretty much ready for anything. Big tarpon. Um, supposedly, we should be able to find some gl juvenile goliath grouper, which I think are gonna be kind of fun to catch. It's gonna be kind of like a, like a glorified type. I think of it kind of like a big bass that fights really hard and uh, eats pretty much everything. So we'll be fishing from today. I think we'll be fishing structure, mangroves, and uh, maybe hopefully get on some flats and be, be able to sight fish some fish today. But yeah, I'm ready. We're gonna take off here and uh, head on out and see what we can find. So stay tuned guys. And uh, at the end of this video, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. And uh, yeah, let's get going, let's do it. First cast. Don't, don't. Not feeling bottom though. Oh yeah, it's about four foot deep. Yeah, this is probably perfect. I just can't believe how the water's ripping. Oh, I'm on something. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That only took a solid uh. Yeah. You might need to maybe put on a smaller bait if we're gonna get in real shallow here. I am on, oh, Nick's got a tree. <laughs> I'm on the first fish of the trip. Would you know, it is a little snook. How about, how about that? First Everglades 
Well, actually, I caught a tarpon last year, but first fish of the trip. Snook? Yeah. Okay. We're on them. So what I'm throwing here, Nick's. You're gonna throw a top water. All right, Nick's gonna throw a top water. I've got on just a three-inch NLBN paddle tail, and we're gonna start looking. We're gonna start fishing. Right now we're pretty shallow, so. It's clear. I'm, I'm happy with how. Yeah, it is really clear. Sorry, I just Ooh, this is exciting. No, go ahead. Lots of current. That's the immediate thing I noticed. There's pretty much no current where I live. Yeah, yeah, that's probably snook. We're all up under there. Trying to turn us here. That's a, that's got to be a grouper. Trout. He thumped the crap out of that. Yeah, switch to something subsurface until we find something real shallow. Man. That's going to be a grouper. He thumped the crap out of that. All right. It's like not even a sea trout. It's not a speckled sea. Well, he's got speckles. He's just really light. That's pretty neat. We're on him. Oh, uh oh, that, that might be it. That's it. That's gotta be it. Yep, that's it. That's it. Let's go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the hey, let's go. That's the one. Well, in just about 15 minutes of fishing, we have some sort of a slam, three different species, and the targeted species that I've been looking for, or that I'm kind of hoping to get a bunch of this trip kind of remind me of a bass they fight super freaking hard i knew i knew that was the species when he didn't even he barely even move when i set the hook not a giant but it's a good start no not at all that is not a giant but that is the first goliath grouper i've ever caught on rod and reel He's about maybe a two, three pounder, but man, they fight hard. It's like a freaking thump from like a 10 pound bass and they fight harder than a 10 pound bass for sure. But a beautiful fish, without a doubt. Go ahead and put this guy back in the water and just a really cool fish. That's all I can say. Colors are crazy on this thing. Yeah, beautiful. That's what the heck, man? We're on him, we're on him. All right, guys, so it's slowed down just a little bit. I was throwing the white bait. For most of the morning we've been fishing for about an hour and a half now and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and switch up colors here on my three inch nlbn so that was loud <laughs> switch up to uh i think this is called dark mud minnow just a darker color earlier so on that white we'll see if it has maybe some better contrast in this water here and maybe pull some more bites all right it's a decent rigging job It'll work though. Don't worry, I'll pull a big Goliath off this tree while you're fighting the jack. Oh, it threw right into his mouth. Yeah, a little snook right into his mouth nah literally he I didn't even move it he had it in his mouth already he ate it on the fall oh. all right finally I think that's sorry don't want to throw you off there oh he threw it right there all right he freed me up I'll go ahead and retie but hey found a snook I think we're maybe building a little bit of a pattern here just gotta find clear water with bait and find fish. I guess that's the pattern for every, any anywhere. Clear water and bait. <laughs> Jack. Dang man, he came up and smoked it. 
Dang. A big Goliath just comes out. <laughs> Inhales him. Oh, there is, there is, there is, there is. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, he just spooked. Yes. He's there. He's back on it. Should I try to let him eat it? Okay. Oh my God, I hope he smokes that. I don't know where he went. He's back up in there somewhere, but he spooked when he saw the boat. Man, that was close. I was literally saying, what? I was literally saying, what if a freaking Goliath just comes up and inhales him, and it was like I just spoke it in, into existence. Oh. Well, oh, another species for today. Jackerbell, just a little guy. Oh. Oh. Yep. I think it's a jack. Is it? Yeah, it's a small Goliath or a jack. It's a Goliath. It's a Goliath. Is it? E oh, there's one. There's another one. There's another one. No, it spooked. Oh. Oh my god. He had two. Oh, that's sick. Dude, that is sick, dude. Give me the boat. Dude, that's my first gag in life. Here, hold him up with the bait. Let me see. He um, ate a fluke. Well, that's technically a Berkeley jerk shad. Gag grouper to the mix. Let's go, boys. And were the fish that were on him, do you think those were gags? I think, or? I think it was another gag that was with him. There was two fish. There might have been a Goliath in there, too. Man, when you can catch groupers on a Ginu, there's ow, nothing better. Ow, That's ow. sick. Easy colors, too. Just like the grouper. Beautiful fish, dude. That is sweet right there. <laughs> yeah, what in the dude, world? That was awesome. <laughs> He boiled on it, and then it, I was like, did he eat it? Because I didn't even feel him pick it up. He was swimming at you. Must have been. All right, well, quick update for you guys. It's been uh, kind of slow here. We got off to a super hot start with the grouper and the trout and the couple snook, but we've just been fishing, mangroves, flipping them, and uh, right there off a point came a gag, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy to catch a gag grouper on a lure and a ginu. I guess there's maybe probably only one place you could do it, right? Crazy. All right, we're gonna keep fishing. Maybe take a lunch break in a little bit. But uh, wow, mixed uh, species day. Let's go. Yeah, he had two with him. It was like right as I went to cast. Two with him? Yeah. Oh, I went for one. Two. It's all about the points. Yeah, points, just like Louisiana. There's not a shit unless you're on the points where the water's moving. <laughs> They were just dark brown fish. Yep. That's a snook. Man, dumped it. Is a snook? Yeah, it is. Dumped it in the exact same spot the gag came from. And I threw in there too. At least I thought I did. We found some fish. It's like they're all congregated in one area. Oh, look at the snook behind him. Yeah, 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 right there. I don't know if you could flick it in there. No, no, it's a snook. It's a snook. He's looking right at it. Eh. All right, the one that came up on him, but oh, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. There we go. There we go. Nice snook. Going into trees here. I'm just gonna release him and uh, snook loved the three incher today. Send him on his way. Go, go, go. See ya. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Tailing. Got you got him? Yeah. I'll go in there. Sad out past One, at least. Big fish, man. Yep, go, 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 go. Work it a little bit. Work it. Stop, stop, stop. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Work it slow. Work it slow. Just drag it. No. Uh. He's on it. 100% he's on it. Just let it sit. Let it sit. Let it sit. 
He's still there. I lost him. He's, he's, um... Okay, wait for him to pop back up. Just let it sink. Let it just sit dead still. Yeah, I got him. No, that's a red. No, it's a drum. No, it's a drum. Yeah? It's a big drum. Yep, you're right on. No, you hit him in the side. There's another one over. Th oh, you got him? What do you got? Big drum. big drum, big drum, big drum. You got him. You got him. He came back for it. Nice, Nick. Big drum, dude. Nice. Huge. Yeah, let's go. Do you have him in the belly? I can't tell. I think you got. I think you got him in the mouth. No, you got him in the belly. No, I got him in the mouth. Yeah, you got him. He ate it. Yeah, he pumped that. You made me double think there. Maybe you got him in the belly. Hey, let's go, Nick. Dude, they were tailing and just floating in, in this little cove. Oh. And I made like 10 casts at these stupid fish, and I finally got one. Oh. Well, I'll just kind of recap what happened there. We were chasing around a couple nice uh, drum, big black drum, not anything I would be expecting around here, to be honest. And uh, made some casts at them with the gulp shrimp. Nick stuck one. They were just floating up on the surface back here in this this back uh, crystal, or not crystal clear, but uh, so dead calm. glass, like yeah. super, super calm back at water area here. And we got one. I'm gonna try to be quiet because I think there's some more around here. And some tarpon. And some big tarpon. Right in the top left. Yep. They look like redfish. They're so red from the, I don't know what it is, the sand or something? That's a big black drum for here. I'll tell you what, I don't think I've seen a lot of people catch black drums in the Everglades like this. It's like a 20 pounder. Let's go. <laughs> Like I'm in Louisiana or something. Put my bail. Yep. Bring him in, boy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go! Get a shot of that. That's ridiculous. Gulp shrimp right in the front of his mouth there. It's about probably the only bait he would eat today. Oh boy, Nick. That is so sick. You know what I'm picking? I got him last time. Oh, oh, there he goes. I think I still might have him on. Do you? Yeah, you got him. I have him last though. He's not even hooked. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. He's probably going to slip right here. Yeah, there he goes. Oh. That's all right. Hey, you got him though. Boy. <laughs> Dude, that was wild. Let me see the bait you got him on. This is the translucent four inch gulp shrimp. Pretty much I think the only bait he would probably eat right now. That was wild. What do you think of that? Uh, that spiced up the day a little bit. Were you expecting that? It's not really. Yeah, me neither. I thought they were all redfish because there was like three of them just floating and they were so orange. And I was like, redfish? And Justin was like, no, black drum, black drum. <laughs> All right, well, we got some excitement there. We're going to keep on fishing here. It is currently almost 12 o'clock. Sun's high, sky's blue, wind's pretty calm, so I'll take it. Like, it's quite literally the best day I could ask for out here. Um, and we've been knocking out some good fish, but we just saw some tarpon, and uh, we're going to see if we can maybe knock out one of those next. I got the front one. I got the front one. It's right in there. Should I go for the active one? Oh my god, look at that wake. Oh 
Oh my god, dude. There, there's a lot more. Here, watch your rod, too. Look at that one in the trees in the shadow up there. I can't see. I'm just going in here. I think it's got to be a little bit more. Oh, shit. Not really what I want is it's a big mangrove. Nice mangrove. Please, bro. Don't leave the mangroves. We only get you a crab. Oh, here we go. Yep, he missed it. No. Can I get you a crab? No, no, I'll get him right here. He's got it. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Got him. <laughs> such a light eat, man. It is such a light eat. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that drum. Oh my gosh. I'm not even fighting. I feel like I'm pretty tight on him. No, I'm not. He's just lazy. Lazy drum. Oh, man, that took a little bit of patience. And I, I didn't even feel a thump either. I know. I did not even feel a thump. Oh my gosh, he's like 30 pounds. All right, so that took a little bit of effort there, but we got probably a 25 to 30 pound black drum on in the Everglades on that gold shrimp. Nick was about to say, let's go grab a fiddler crab out of the trees and that might get him to eat, but... I'm going to go catch me a crab for the next one. Yeah? A little bit of patience, we got him. Got him. Got him. Oh my gosh. That's a hog. <laughs> that is a big black drum. Oh, let me see if I can lift him up here. He's probably 30 pounds. He is probably 30 pounds. Absolute beauty. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we'll be quick with this fish. Pop this thing right out of his lips here. See how easy it is here. Might need some pliers. Might not, not. There it is. Just right there. Four inch gulp shrimp and a giant black drum. Oh, check that thing out. Oh. Oh. There he goes. Hey, we got one. <laughs> we got one. Super sick fish. They were just tailing in this... Uh, like this cove here, and uh, a little bit of patience, we got one. You want to try to catch a fiddler crab? Yes, I do. All right, we'll see if we can catch a fiddler crab out of the trees here and see how quickly they'll eat that, if they're even going to still hang out here for us. But let's go. We're sitting here looking for fiddler crabs up in the mangroves because there was one, there was a tree or an area earlier that had a ton of them. I assume they'd be right here, and they're not. At least we're not seeing them unless they're deeper up in there. Yeah, go in there. Go for that close one. Or actually, I don't know. This is how hard to throw on oysters. Oh, right there, right under the tree, under the tree, under the tree. Oh, he saw. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Go quicker. Yep, yep. Oh! <gasps> oh, be careful! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Oh my gosh. He spooked from it, swung on it, and ate it again. Ate it again. How's it feel, Nick? That was cool. He ate it only three feet from the boat. That was so sick. That was perfect. Literally said, look to your right. There's one right under the tree. And he comes right out. 
swings on. Well, I think he spooked he a little bit from sure. it. It kind of yeah. caught him off guard and then did immediate U-turn, came up on it and ate it. We switched to the uh, uh, new penny, three inch gulp shrimp there. And I don't know, I think that might've been a little bit quicker than our other bites. Maybe they want a smaller presentation. This size too, which yeah. is crazy. They're all big, all probably all about 20 pounds and bigger, 15 to 20 pounds and bigger. Heck yeah, boy! Oh, oh he's got a remora on him. It just fell off. A remora? I had a remora on him. Hey, let's go! I did not expect these guys today. Freaking giant black drum. How does that feel? Pretty solid. Pretty freaking solid. All right, I'll grab a picture and let him go. Let's go! Three and a half hour drive in the middle of the night, and we're whacking them. It's worth it. Whacking them. It is worth it. We have knocked out a handful of fish and a handful of different species today. It is now currently one o'clock, and uh, I think at this point we're just seeing how many fish we can knock out. Um, the black drum are pretty much loaded, which is not anything I expected, and they're a lot of fun. So we might catch a few more. We might not. We need a new jig head. It's bent. <laughs> She's cool. All right. That was perfect. Oh. All right, we survived, Nick. We made it. Surprised? No. Not surprised? I had, I had faith in you. Well, we, uh, that is going to wrap up day number one in uh, the Everglades. So I had an absolute blast. We caught so many different species of fish. What, we probably had like five or six mangroves, gags, goliaths, black drums, snook, trout. Am I forgetting anything? Mangroves? Mangrove, I think I already said that. Black drum. We whacked them. Saw some big poons. We whacked them. We did see some giant tarpon. Maybe we will uh, take a shot at those tomorrow. They were just hanging out on the surface. It made me really excited. They were just a little bit too smart. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head we're gonna head over to our uh, Airbnb now. And uh, I just had an absolute blast today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, got anything to say, Nick? See ya tomorrow. Let's go.